we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father, the source of all blessings, we believe in your promise that we too will be sources of blessings. If I become a source of blessings, 10,000 generations also receive blessings. Help us to obey your word of truth. Help us not to be simple by disobeying. Help us not to become Pharisees by scorning your word. May we be wise in receiving all the blessings that Jehovah has prepared. May our children be wise and may, they do may we do precious work for our country, our people. For your glory, may we have precious families. We believe that via your word we will receive help this dawn. Are there families with problems? May they receive answers. Are there hearts are there that have problems? May they receive answers and give you great glory. We believe that only the Father gives happiness and satisfaction. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's say together, sheep. If your desire isn't being fulfilled, you may think, oh, I wish I could receive as much as Pastor Park. No, you will do greater. I, I'm i not done myself. I too am, am running towards the cross, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. So this word has no truth. What you don't do well in is that you always hold on to your children, your flesh, my money. You hold on to something. Some people, they hate themselves by saying, oh, you know, my destiny is so bad, my family is so filthy. Inside of Christ, we all become adopted sons of God. We fix our destiny. As you walk along the street, if you become an heir of a wealthy family, then that all that inheritance is yours so why 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 grumble and say my filthy hu husband or my filthy destiny you always hold on to something my flesh my children my money or or you hold on to some grumbling we have to cut this off daily moment by moment if we keep getting trained in this what is this training? It's to cut it off by the blood of Christ. So then your thoughts change. You know, you're always thinking like a beast, which is, oh, I have to eat well for me and my children. So if someone asks you directions, even if they ask you from here to the next suburb, you know, you don't tell them. But in America, they do things that are unimaginable. They will take you, drive 30 minutes and show you the way. You know, in Korea, we write, we can't go anywhere near receiving the Nobel Prize. You, you and I, we say that we do forced repentance, but if someone asks us directions, if, some, if someone's in a car, when we asked someone, they had finished work, they were still in their work clothes. How many of you, who, who would have the heart of driving 30 minutes to show someone directions? So in America, when I was on my way to a revival, so these pastors who had graduated from Seoul University, they couldn't find their way. So the sun was setting and there was a lady at the supermarket and they asked directions. I mean, it's the same whether it's a lady or a gentleman, but she said, follow my car. So they heard about the directions and they, and they said, no, no, you don't have to show us. But on the way they got lost again and again. So why are our thoughts like this? We do not know this word. Those people, they live with the heart. 
that the world is theirs. It's an amazing heart. But we have the heart of saying only mine is mine, and other people's, we ruin it, and we only know ourselves. That's why we make these separations and denominations. If everything is mine, how can we make a denomination? If everything is ours, then we don't need to do that. So we need to change this thinking. Is that person a man or not? It's not by their clothes or how they spend their money. It's not the position that they, they're sitting in, but whether their inside has become a man. But our country still doesn't know how to look look for that because we're not awakened to the gospel yet. We don't know what we need to be to be fixed. So let's find Psalms chapter 84 verse 10. So we don't know who has long life. In Korea, in Asia, we acknowledge someone who has lived many years as having a long life. But in front of God, it's different. So if we can't escape from this type of thinking, then we will never see the light. So if we were under the Japanese for 36 years, unless we change our heart to the gospel, even if our country ended up like this, we still don't know what the basics are. We have to return to the word in America, in Europe. Those people who lend money during the IMF, doesn't matter how wrong they seem, how corrupt, their basics, their fundamentals are still the gospel. If you walk along the road um, in Europe or um, if I'm walking along the street and I've still got 50 meters to go to cross the road and yet uh, the car will still wait 50 meters away. Why? Because, because they think that you you become uh, afraid if the car comes too close. So they wait from afar off. Korea, they think that if you have a doctorate, that you can become a professor. So that's why we ruin everyone because we put these type of people as professors. So these Korean professors, they go overseas. Sometimes they end up not able to leave or come. Why? Because like Korea, like as if they're in Korea, they just drive past the traffic lights because they think no one is looking. So they end up recording. This professor did this. So then, and it's recorded in the, commu in the computer. And so when he's caught again, it's all recorded there. Just because you learn one, two, three, does that mean you're a professor? We don't know what true worth is in Korea. You know, even if you deceive, as long as you obtain that position, you think it's okay. But God doesn't forgive. And in the end, these are the results that come back. If God doesn't forgive, it seems like Korean people are good, but we can't escape from poverty. How can we have these these provinces inside of this tiny country when one province was in famine, then all the other then they would move to all the other provinces and if another province was in famine, then people would all move out from there to other provinces. So depending on whether there was famine or, or abundance, people would move here and there. So really, we don't have these provinces, but it's because we're jealous and envious of other people doing well. And that's why we have these these provinces and we say we belong to this family or we have to change our heart the only way is by the gospel by reviving our conscience to change our heart that's the only way so if we don't know this this truth we become no nothing let's find uh, let's read Psalms chapter 84 verse 10 
for a day in your courts is better than a thousand outside. I would rather stand at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Amen. So if we see these graveyards where people have died early, people say, oh, that, you know, they died so young. But then if someone died at 70, 80, they all say, oh, they lived a good long life. That's all fake. Even if you live one day with God, that is long life. If you're not with God, even if you lived a hundred years, So whether it be on foot furniture or, you know, in our country we we draw turtles or or storks. Why? So that we live a long life. And we have the Chinese character for for long life. But God says, even if you live one day with God, that is a long life. It's not just because you actually live a hundred years, because we have this type of thinking, starting from me. If there's something dangerous, I won't do it. I won't do something if if it involves death. But in Europe, even though it's something that involves death, because they are with God, if they want to do something, they do it, even if they could die. So. Why would you jump off Niagara Falls? Of course you'll die. But they jump and they die. Why? Why aren't they afraid of death? Because if you live with God for one day, that's better than a thousand years. So they're not interested in living that, you know, like a dog. Their thinking is so different. If it's a little bit dangerous, we won't do it. But they will pay money to bungee jump. If it for, for was us, even if someone paid us, we wouldn't do it. If someone said, I'll give you a thousand dollars, you know, or, you know, a million dollars, we wouldn't do it. But they pay money to do it. So who's right? We're wrong. Our thinking is wrong. It's my body, my life. But we die earlier. What is long life? People say that, you know, living long years is good, but a long life is to be with God. It's to be with God. That is a long life. Even if you only live a day and die, that is, that is it's better to live that long life than to live many as a dog. But do you know what's funny? I don't know if it was the the lungs or or the liver. One of the organs inside of people if there's something wrong with it, they say the most similar is the pig's organs. So God calls us dog pigs why does he say that after you believe and you, do, you depart from the faith why doesn't he call us cows but call us dog pigs but these scientists what they've researched is that the organs you know no one's going to give up their organ for someone else so they using a pig's organs is the most um, it's it's the best match so it's according to the Bible you know, God, it seems like God's just written it, but no. So the scientists are saying, well, because of this, you know, people can live longer. But how stupid. Living one day with God is better. That's long life. A long life is to be with God. Isn't this amen? So, if a long life is being with God, 
We'll do verse 11 and 12 later. So being with God is a long life. Whatever you do, it's all foam. A king, he, in order to have his name remain, he he had his name engraved in stone. After a thousand years, that name has been eroded away. So, no matter what man does, within a thousand years, it disappears. In Korea, a very um, famous monument, they got rid of it and it became a park. Men, no matter how much they want their name to remain, after a little while, it's, it, it's ended. So that's, let's find 1 John chapter 2 verse 17. So what is leaving a good name? Everyone wants to have a long life. That's to be with one, even if it's one day with God, it's to be with God. And someone who does God's will, four step repentance, that's when God is with me. That is long life. That is when your name remains forever. Otherwise your name doesn't remain. So we learn about all this history and at school it seems like if we don't know this that you know it's it's like s so bad if we don't know but it's nothing we don't even know it now and you know what foreigners they're not even interested we're not even interested ourselves and it's the same with famous things overseas we're not that interested but someone who does God's will that is someone who shines forever if you do not repent more and more you go the way of evil without you realizing if you do not repent if you have one evil today then tomorrow another and then another so the more evil you become straight away you don't give profit to others so that means 10,000 things you please yourself and that's why everyone departs so where there is a fake church, everyone departs, there's no one left. That's what the European church is. If you make a sculpture out of stone, even if you make a stamp out of, out of stone, um, before in Korea we couldn't we couldn't sell those stamps because we didn't have the skills but in Europe these huge churches they have sculpt these churches that are sculptured out of stone and yet no one comes for worship at the beginning when they were first built there were so many denominations but they've been ruined there's no one left the the descendants do not go to church why because they've seen their ancestors go to church and be ruined and that's why all over the world people come as tourists and as they're drinking beneath God's nodes they just say oh look at the way you know these these stupid people and built these churches and they end up selling those churches as pubs what about us the church our churches are decreasing well you know what it's a problem if these denominations do have people, it's thankful that people are departing from the church. So everyone wants their name to remain. After money, people want their name. That is a long life. The only way is to fulfill God's will. But Koreans in Asia, even Christians don't know this and that's why they're fake fakes who cannot receive salvation so if someone doesn't know this if they're your child and you you educate them they don't become a man whether it be your husband or your your parent if they've gone overseas to Japan or America and they studied overseas in the end, what happened to them? There's nothing. They've ended 
they end as if it's just a daily pleasure they've ended like like a as if they're just an insect 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 6 someone who lives for daily pleasures is is someone who is dead so only by four step repentance can we fulfill God's will let's read 1 John chapter 2 verse 17 the world is passing away and also its lusts but the one who does the will of God lives forever Amen so yes you may be educated in the world you may have philosophy you but that means you have your lusts you it seems like you have so much love but you're filled with your greed and demons those people they're like the grass that that fades so just because you live a hundred years or you stayed in that position for a long time that's not a long life it's to do the will of God only that is forever so you don't you want to live as someone whose name remains forever because we don't know this worth and yet we're and yet we're teaching and learning that's why we're nothing but beasts if your name truly remains what they've done what they've done for the will of God that's what remains that is a long life but those people with lusts and greed they don't know this you have to go inside of Christ and become a new man that's when you know the will of God so even if you live one day it's better than a beast who lives a hundred years even if it's one day to live as a man that person's name remains forever and this is what I keep telling you even though you're not educated you don't have anything if you do four step repentance properly and you pass it down to your children God he your children will do well your prayers will later all come out you will have blessings in your late age and later it will all be manifest they will say who who is it that did this you know some grandfather some grandmother they because they did four-step repentance they saved our family so let's have long life may our desires be fulfilled and may we shine our light onto others let's read verse 17 again the world is passing away and also its lusts but the one who does the will of God lives forever Amen so God's will to give thanks in all things four step repentance only that is how your name remains forever may we receive the blessings of long life so that is the son in the Bible only people will think that it's only the Sun that remains forever you know these days science says yes you know there's things that are brighter than the Sun but they too are suns they're 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 bright so it's sun centered that's Psalms chapter 84 verse 11 someone who shines forever someone who does the will of God someone who is who walks with God they are the ones that remain you Guansu when Koreans were beasts and didn't know more and more because she did the things in the name of the Lord more and more she will have long life her name will shine before I knew this gospel I just saw her as just a, a young girl but more and more you think people are going to acknowledge Isang Man? No, he's worldly he's lustful more and more you guys who will be will be acknowledged
it's only the sun that remains so long life the will of God it's called the sun who wants to live as the sun it's by the sun that even when life is dead is the sun day or night it's the day Nehemiah chapter 9 people who still don't know one quarter of the day so we'll go that way and you need to pay attention so there is nothing but this the sun one quarter of the day God gives us such precious things but you don't know anything about the Bible Psalms chapter 84 verse 10 a long life eternal life is to be with God even if it's one day and that's to live as the sun at this dawn let's receive help by a quarter of the day that is God's will that is to shine forever let's live properly let's all pray Father at this dawn your help to be like the sun which is to shine forever which is to cast away people's darkness and those who are dead as beasts by the sun for them to be guided to to life it's and that's how life springs up the sun a quarter of the day may we may we record this on our heart when we first do well that's when our country will shine we believe our country will shine like the sun we believe that the sun that sets in the west will rise in the east at this dawn may we re receive your help in Jesus name we thank you and bless Amen <laughs>